Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today, we're gonna be talking about visas and everything you need to know about the visa situation out here. Uh oh, look at that. Seems like a, oh no, that's no bueno. Anyways, so yeah, somebody's uh, pipe broke. Hopefully they figure it out in time before uh, it gets even worse. Anyways, uh, yeah, so yeah, so sorry about the distraction. As always, I always get distracted. I'm like Homer Simpson, huh? Um, <coughs> but today we're going to be talking about visas and uh, everything you need to know about that whole situation. Because, uh, well, right now I'm actually on my way to Ed Centro in order to go check out um, this travel agency, um, in order to uh, just see, um, you know, what kind of flights and packages, you know, they have, you know, in order for me to see if I can, uh, um, you know, fly out of here to renew my visa. So, you know, right off the bat, you know, one of the main questions, you know, that people ask is, you know, how does that work out here? You know, how does a visa work out here? Well, you know, for most people that are watching this that come from either Europe, the United States, or Canada, the whole visa thing is pretty simple. And especially if you're an American or Canadian, not, too, not quite too sure on how it works for, um, for Europeans out there. But as far as... Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> but anyway, as far as uh, when it comes down to, you know, most uh, most people out there um, in those countries, um, the whole visa thing isn't like that difficult. So how it works is like this. As you're coming into the country, as you come into the country, um, no matter how you come in, whether it's you, you fly in, you cross the border, or uh, you come on a cruise ship, most people end up coming on a on an airplane. But, um, ugh, so many obstacles. So, but, uh, what was I gonna say? So, yeah, how it works with the visa is that, like, you literally get the visa. Um, let's say you're flying in, you get the visa in the air on, I'll use it on the plane. So, you know, as you're about to land or getting close to getting to Mexico City or wherever the hell you're landing in Mexico, um, they already start giving you your visa so you can start filling it out getting it ready so that way man i'm sorry if it's really windy today by the way so that way by the time you get to um to immigration as soon as you get off the plane you already got your visa filled out you present it to immigration you just answer a, you know just answer a couple basic questions it's very easy i mean it's very you know just pretty much like uh why are you here um, and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, how long are you gonna be here? And that's it. That's it. basically it. It's not really that. And then that's it. They give you the the visa. So, what I recommend, and you know, the the major re the, the main recommendation for most people is that when you're there, just say you're here on on you know you want a tourist visa. You're here on a you know for tourist reasons, and you want the 180 day tourist visa. And just to say you want that, you know, I I, I sincerely doubt. Oh, a lot of, a lot of noise, a lot of, a lot of wind, a lot of everything. I hope you guys can hear me. Woo! Let me get under the, the shade over here. But anyways, as I was saying, um, they, they're, they're not really gonna be bothering you too much or asking you too much or, or interrogating you or anything like that. Um, and again, every country is different. You know, if you're, if you're a Cuban coming from Cuba, then all of a sudden it's completely different. You know what I mean? For you and your visa and your immigration status and all that. So that goes for a bunch of other countries that might fall into that category. Um, so, um, but again, you know, for most people out there, um, you literally just, you know, you, you know, you get to the immigration thing and as you hand them your little paper, you tell them uh, you want to stay for 180 days and they give you your tourist visa and bam, that's it. You're good to go. Now, when it comes to renewing your visa, because... Again, you know, once you pass the, you know, the six month threshold, you know, the 180 day threshold, all of a sudden, you know, you're here illegally. So you need to, you know, renew your visa beforehand. And so it's also very easy for you to do. The only, the only, the only thing that sucks about it is the fact that you need to um, leave the country. 
and come back in. So you gotta leave the country for at least one day. And then uh, once you do that, it's um, it's already renewed. So like, how does how does the process work? It works really easy. You know, you literally leave the country any which way you want. You leave the country, whether it's through airplane, ship, crossing the border uh, in a car, in a bus, anything like that. You know, a lot of people, like let's say uh, in my area, you know, which is Merida or even the Cancun area. Um, you know, since we're close to like Belize or Guatemala or anything like that, you know, what a lot of us end up doing is just taking like a little bit of a tour bus you know or some sort of bus some sort of transportation that's actually pretty cheap um, and you just take it to Belize you stay overnight in Belize um, or Guatemala or whatever you take a little mini vacation and you come right back and you're good to go when you get to the border you do the same thing you did when you came in the first time and that's it so again it's very very easy for most people you know to you know um, make sure that they keep their legal status okay because it's all about you know staying legal being legal okay um now what happens if you overstay your uh, visa because believe it or not that actually happened to me you know the first time you know thank god you know i learned from my lesson but what happens is it's very simple you just get fined that's it now as long as you don't overstay your visa by over two years plus if you overstay your visa by over two years or some shit like that, it's like maybe it's changed a little bit now with the whole Trump situation and uh, you know a lot of immigration situations. But for the most part, I, I don't think it's changed much or changed at all. So therefore, man, I'm really sorry if it's really windy. If it's really, really windy today. Jesus, I feel like I'm at the beach almost. It's making for a pleasant walk, but not for a pleasant talk. Oh look, it rhymes. But anyways, so what happens is if you um, if you overstay your visa, you actually get fined per day that you stay over. So if you, you know, if you stay over just a few days or whatever, you probably won't even get anything. You probably get a little slap in the wrist, if anything at all. They probably won't even notice. And it's really windy. But uh, but worst case scenario, that you stay for a very long time. What ends up happening is that you just end up going through a bit of a tougher time at immigration. And, uh, you know, once you go through the whole ordeal of having to deal with, um, you know, the immigration people, having to deal with, uh, you know, um, you, 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 you fucked up, you messed up. So you got to deal with the proper authorities. Um, but once you do that, that's pretty easy. So what happens is, is that you get fined per day that you're here. So I think the maximum fine is uh, $300 or a little bit over $300, like a, like a little over 6,000 pesos. That's like the limit. That's the most you can ever you know, get charged. But I think that you reach that limit by just staying over a few months or something like that. Now, I've heard of people that have stayed, you know, overstayed for months, six months, a year, and so on and so forth. And, you know, pretty much, you know by that time you, you you probably get like a hookup you know what i mean to help you out to get you you know to make sure that there's no hiccups but at the end of the day it's all easily easily resolvable with the fine you know with just paying your fine and um you know they want you to stay they want you to come back to the country they want you to come to the country they don't want to you know they're, they're trying to do everything humanly possible so that you know uh, it's easy for you to come back they're not trying to kick you out. They're not trying to ban you. They're not. They're not trying to keep those. It's loud. All right. You know they're not trying to keep those dollars out of Mexico or those euros out of Mexico. In fact, the complete opposite is what they're trying to do. So again, you know, outside of you know some major major crime, outside of doing some you know dumb stupid shit you shouldn't be doing to begin with um you should be fine you should be totally fine there's actually you know you shouldn't have to worry too much as, as long as you have enough to pay the fine and all that good stuff now remember it's only to get out you know what i mean like you know it's really to get out if you don't plan on ever coming back it shouldn't really be, even be a problem you know you could do whatever the fuck you want on your way out and then you know if you get banned you get banned but honestly if you plan on coming back you know outside of something crazy egregious which always gets resolved with money out here. You're good. You're good to go. There's really not much uh, 
for you to worry about when it comes to all that. All right, um, I think I'm getting close to where I gotta go. Again, I'm really, I really hope that today's episode isn't too messed up with the, with the, with all the wind because it's extremely windy. Um, you know, it's funny. So when I when I worry about the wind, I don't hear it on the other end. When I don't worry about the wind, it's I can't. You know, it's windy as hell. So, anyways, but yeah, I hope it's not too bad. Again, at least it's not as crazy hot as uh, it usually is. But um, but yeah, like I I really hope that 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 saw. I mean, that that answers uh, some of your visa questions. You know, some of your immigration status questions. And and again, please. You know, by all means, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. You know, feel free to, you know, feel free to, to you know, leave some comments below, contact me, and so on and so forth. You know, I have a um, the the guy that you know did all my immigration stuff. You know, he's available to you guys as well. So, if you guys need any immigration help, obviously for a fee. Um, you know, the immigration help you know comes at a. At a fee now, you know what I mean? Because it's not me. I'm not. It's not. Uh, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's a guy that actually does that for a living. But regardless, you know, there's a few of you out there that I've already recommended him. You two and uh, you guys are already, you know, working out your situation. So um, remember, every single person out there, we all have different, completely different situations. Hey, <laughs> no, no, get a hold of it. Yeah, it's really windy again. But anyways, yeah, everyone is out there with a completely different situation. And um, and, and that's the thing, you know what I mean? But regardless, everything has a solution no matter what. Because uh, there's one of you guys out there that had like a really fucked up situation. And still, my guy got it. So, you know, pretty much all the immigration situation out here in Mexico is the complete opposite as it is in the U.S. It really is a complete opposite. So right now in the U.S., everyone's getting... Everyone's getting deported, you know, there's fucking ICE agents at, at every fucking place, you know, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hellhole out there, you know, for lack of a better, you know, description when it comes to that. But when it, when, uh, when it comes to like immigration out here, it's the complete opposite. It really is, you know, um, no matter what you hear, you know, out here, you know, you're going to be welcomed with open arms for the most part, because again you know um it's again it's just a complete opposite uh, situation it just really really is and um i implore you guys you know if you have any more questions any more anything that you want to talk about please by all means you know let me know by the way look this is my friend's friend store it's a little cat store It's a cat themed store and it's fucking awesome okay like i said a friend of my friend owns that store and uh when my mom came to visit you know that's where we came to buy a bunch of shit you know for my little niece and look you guys probably remember this right here right oh maybe you remember it better like this and then imagine my girlfriend's over there but yeah so uh let me see am i here yet no i think i gotta walk a little further yeah, I'm looking for the place. So yeah, so what, remember the reason I'm out here. So the reason I'm out here is because uh, for my uh, for my next renewal. All right, hold on. I'm gonna make sure I'm not walking. I'm walking in the right direction here. Uh, what street am I on? Hold on. Oh yeah, okay, there it is. Okay. So you know, for my next trip, I'm actually going to Cuba. And uh, why the hell not? You know, I'm only a hop and a skip and away. I'm literally one hour and a half or an hour, like either an hour or an hour and a half, um, you know, trip, you know, um, by, by plane to just get to, to Cuba. So um, literally the most expensive thing out of this trip would be the plane tickets. Um, but other than that, you know, it's actually gonna be extremely um, cheap. And uh, that's something I'm actually really looking forward to right now. So um, it's coming up in the next few months, but it takes a while to plan because, uh, as you know, I'm, Amer I'm an American citizen, and even though I have uh, Cuban blood, Cuban family in Cuba, um, and I can, you know, more easily go visit. At the end of the day, I'm still an American citizen, and by being an American citizen, yeah, it's not it's not as easy to go to visit Cuba. But, um, but regardless, though, it's something that I'm really, really looking forward to. 
and uh, I gotta start the planning process now because you know as I'm doing my homework I'm realizing that I gotta you know um, I gotta get a Cuban visa and that might cost a little more money and I, I think and I gotta I gotta find out the, the proper prices so I can make sure I get the, the best deal possible and I gotta do some homework you know so I can make sure I can I'm staying at the right place I'm gonna go visit some family when I'm out there um, and so on and so forth so I'm really really looking forward to the trip and um, I'm 90% sure that Chris is coming with me, so it's gonna be even more fun. And it's gonna be nice to be off the grid for a few days and, uh, you know, be literally in my homeland, you know, I'm somewhere I've never been and I've always wanted to go. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be really cool, you know? It's like an Italian going back to Italy, you know, like a New York Italian going to Italy, you know? You gotta get a Miami Cuban, you know, gonna go visit Cuba. So it's gonna be really cool. So, anyways, guys. I'm gonna let you guys go because I'm gonna I gotta go um, talk, you know, to the tour people. I gotta go see if I can get some good prices and uh, see um, if I can get a lot of information so I can start planning my trip, um, which I already have been planning my trip. But I gotta get this uh, underway um, because you already know how things are. Things just, you know, time flies, time disappears. So we gotta make sure that we make the most of it. And um, after I'm done here, I gotta go pay my phone bill, run a few more errands, and get the fuck out of here. I gotta go back home. I have a lot of things I gotta do. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please, you know, if you got any comments, any questions, any anything, that's it. You know, just leave them in the comments. You know, go to my website, leave an email, do whatever it is you gotta do to get in contact with me to get those things, those questions answered. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, and we'll see you guys manana. Peace. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special request on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.